Hello everyone, once again you're watching DPS TV. The name is Dalko Dankwa. Today I'm really honored to have this gentleman in my premises. He is an inspiration to us, the youth. He is an achiever. I have with me Gael, who is going to talk to us today on DPS TV. Gael, thank you for having me in your house. My pleasure. First of all, who is Gael? <laughs> well, I see myself as uh, somebody who's uh, been given a talent, a gift to um, to go to a high level yeah. and to be an inspiration to so many lives, especially to the young ones who mm -hmm. wanted to follow the same path as yeah. being a footballer or in any way they can try and achieve the goals. And so I see myself as somebody who I don't know, kind of, you know, carries, you know, shaping into yeah. like a leader. So, and I, it's exciting. Um, tell me about your historical background, where you come from, and um, I was I was born in Burundi. Yeah, yeah, that's where um, it's a little small country, but you know, it's really, you know, it's got its ups and downs, but it's a really loving country, and um, people trying to do their best and yeah. And yeah, my, my memories there is uh, just, just playing football every day mm -hmm. in the street and um, obviously going to school. Yeah. But the, 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 the most important uh, 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 the most important thing of the day was playing football with, with my friends and yeah. stuff in the streets with no boots. So mm -hmm. that, was, that was always the highlight of the day. <laughs> yeah. Now about education. Um, mm. Which school did you attend? Tell me about your educational background. Well, when I was in uh, when I was in Burundi, I went to this uh, school called uh, Saint Michel, uh -huh. and then when I moved to England, yeah. uh, I carried on my primary time in the school called South Valley Primary School. Yeah, and uh, when I went to secondary school, I went to uh, Ainsford Grange Community School, and uh, I couldn't go to college because I had to sign my apprenticeship year, and that's yeah. where football became my personal life. Yeah. Um, may I ask you the reason why you entered into football? Why football? Um, like I said, from the young age, I always wanted to be... No, it's like I didn't know anything about being a footballer, but yeah. it's something that... It was my hobby and something that I really enjoyed doing. So mm -hmm. when he came, when I came to England, and before I came to England, I was in Uganda, and there was, um, they really love a premiership, and they used to put it like on big TV, so people would go and pay and watch it. And that's how it started becoming in my mind, like, our oh, football is... Just, Thing that it's a big thing in the world and yeah. and so many people love it and many kids it seems like it's what they do yeah. and they want to achieve so when I go to England you know I go to school and the first thing I asked the, the, the head teacher was do you have a, 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 football, a, a football team <laughs> and she was like yeah we do so yeah. that was exciting and for those of you who know you you mm -hmm. play for um, Newcastle mm -hmm. as a midfielder isn't it yeah. So and and in major games, in some major games, how do you handle pressure? Um, I, I think you you know sometimes it's good to feel under pressure. Yeah. But no, to put yourself in too much under pressure. Mm -hmm. If you get what I'm saying, like because when you when you are in the pressure, you, you concentrate and you you wanna come above and you wanna like you concentrate more and you, you yeah. wanna do well and and but. But you don't want to put yourself in a place where it's like you're really nervous mm -hmm. and, and you're thinking too much because it's um you know it, it, it distracts your, yeah. your mentality yeah. and, 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 and your love for the game so yeah. when i came when i've uh, experienced in those big games i just want to enjoy and, and and you know play to the best of my ability and to give god the glory so yeah I'm, and, and that's where i get my strength from i, I don't do it for me mm -hmm. I do it for the people who came to pay, yeah, and most of all for for my God. So that always that strength and and that's where I get my confidence to rise above all this pressure. Yeah, he does it for everything for God. Um, so uh, may I know which clubs you you played for before joining your current team? Um, yeah, I was I was in Coventry. I came in Coventry. Coventry yes. I, I mean I don't really academy, have that's where some person. I, I I moved when I came from. Uh, uh, Africa. So yeah. How how old were you around? I was time? ten. I was ten. ten so oh. I signed with them when I was eleven. Yeah. And uh, uh, from eleven years old, I, I uh, I've been with them through the mm. ages. And when I go 
it took me to receive. Uh, so I made my debut when I was uh, uh, 17. You so, by you yeah. left. So yeah. now it's that's always been my was my dream was my kind of target. Yeah. I said I want to make my debut before I'm 18. You and my sometimes it's so like it's like impossible. Like it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, it did. Yeah. So it's good. So how how did you get to play for Newcastle? Um, it's kind of crazy because the season that I had with Coventry, my first season, uh, we got relegated, mm -hmm. and and so it was quite and and that season Newcastle were doing really great. Yeah. They finished uh, fifth on the table. And so when the season finished and my agent told me oh, Newcastle are interesting and they're really they're really like interesting and, and they've put a bid on for you. I, mm. I just seemed like it was rumors. Yeah. But when it became more re realistic, I you know, I just yeah. I so just, how how was the feeling like? <laughs> it was crazy because I was thinking, you know, this this team is they're, they're on the a rise and yeah. they're doing great and mm -hmm. what were they Come want to buy a player who's been relegated, <laughs> yeah. so it's crazy. But like I said, it's uh, big for a big uh, purpose and for yeah. a better plan. Yeah, Newcastle is it's, it's a great achievement. Um, how is your relationship with your manager, with all the players actually, generally? How yeah, are the we um, between the players and the manager. We, I mean, personally for me, I mean, I get on with every every person at the club. Yeah, well. I mean, I'm. My person, my, my relationship with the manager is, mm -hmm. you know, is is good. I respect him and he respect me, and we talk. And um, and with the players, I mean, I don't really have some pers some people say who's your best friend. I yeah. don't really have a best friend. I tell everybody I could because I'm just friendly with everyone. Mm -hmm. So, and but yeah, I'm just that person who just gets on with everyone or trying to get on with everyone. Yeah, generally, who who is your best player? For me, it was um, it was like you, uh, you and Kabai, but he left mm -hmm. recently. But there is a, yeah, there is other players like, I mean, Chiote is in my position, so he's like the way he trains, he, yeah. you know, he inspires you to try to put that in your yeah. game and to always run a work hard in, you know. So yeah, there's some inspiration players in the team. Mm -hmm. Tell me about one one football moment that you you can never forget. <laughs> well, that's that's scoring my first goal. In the first goal. Mm. Yeah, and it, it was crazy. Yeah, like when when I scored the goal, mm -hmm. and obviously when you're with your friend, you say, "Oh, when you scored the goal, did this yeah. celebration, did this dance?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, do that, do that." <laughs> and when I scored, and then I was running, like suddenly there was kind of this, there was my body just feel like pressed yeah. down. On my knees and and that's all I could do and yeah it was, yeah. It was it's a feeling that like it's just you don't get that feeling so yeah, like yeah. How, how do you feel when when you're playing football then you hear cheers from France mentioning you and Gael Gael how, how's the feeling how does it feel like yeah it's I mean it gives you that adrenaline to yeah. just to keep running you know sometimes when you hear fans shouting for you and fans are cheering you on yeah. It's like you just want to run like a hell as you can yeah. because when you hear that and they, you know, it gives you like that kind of motivation like oh, uh -huh. they've paid the money to and, and they're here like and they cheer yeah. me on, they could be doing anything. Uh -huh. So that gives you the inspiration and the motivation to want to give something back to yeah. them. And um, through this wealth and excitement and fame, mm -hmm. what are your plans um, for the future? Well, my, my plans for the future is... I mean, obviously, I wanna work hard and, and and get to the to the highest level that God has prepared me to get, mm -hmm. and and from that, I just wanna really give something to my to the world, to the to my mm -hmm. generation, to the young generation, to anybody I can meet, and just yeah. uh, whether it's uh, talking or giving my time or financial stuff, mm -hmm. you know, I just really wanna yeah just be somebody that can reach so many people be somebody that can reach people well you've had some story about gail mm -hmm. we will be back after this break hello once again and welcome back from the break Gail, welcome um what do you do when you're not playing football 
Um, most of the time, uh, after training, I'll come home mm. and uh, just relax with my family yeah. and watch whatever is on TV. Um, but I have my time where I have to do my study and this. Yeah. Studying. So, um, um, when when you are like in your major games playing football, mm. and you see yourself behind the score line, how do you teammates motivate each other? Like when you go on half uh, half t half time. <laughs> um, obviously, there you get in a dressing room and the yeah. manager would just because as the game was been going on the first mm. time, he'd pick up certain mistakes and yeah. certain things, and then when we come in a changing room. Everybody rest and yeah. get their breath back. Then he would tell him, he would, he would write, he would tell us who's the mistake, mm -hmm. and then what we need to keep doing. So, yeah. but once we you are, like, once we're losing, then like he needs to really be very passionate. Mm -hmm. and he really like you know everybody know that well we need to if we walk in fifty percent or hundred yeah. percent. Well now behind we have to even everyone has gotta pull hundred and ten percent and you gotta add that more into what you've been doing in the first half because yeah. it wasn't good enough. So yeah, there is yeah, you need to kind of the mentality change once mm. you're you're behind and your score is behind. So yeah, it's crazy to think about it. Okay, uh, tell tell me about your achievements. What are some of the things you think personally think you have achieved? I mean, uh, people say to me, oh, you've made it, and mm. I always say to people, you, 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 the only way that I can say I've made it is when I'm retired. Mm. Until you've retired, you can't say you've made it. Why? Because there's always more. There is no limit. Until you say yourself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop, then yes, you've made it. Gail, yeah. <laughs> what are some of your, of your achievements? What you personally think you have achieved? Well, to become first as a professional footballer, that's, that's the one achievement every young boy from the academy yeah. or any young boys playing like uh, football park or uh, street football. That's yeah. one thing you always want to achieve because mm -hmm. once you have that, it's, um, it's, you've opened, like, you've gone through the first door, you've yeah. stepped into the first step like that, and now you've got. I don't know, a dozen of them mm. to climb. So once you get that, it gives you like a confidence that yeah. mentality is what that, oh, I'm good enough. For me to be professional, well, okay, I must be good. Or people, yeah. or people say it must be true. So that gives you confidence and the belief in yourself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's for me at the moment, that's the best achievement. Of, of, and, and, and to, I always, when people say, oh, you're going to play here, and I was like, when I was young, and it's like really premiership. That's that's the highest. Like yeah. in football, playing at the premiership is the highest. Like mm. in in premiership or La Liga, or yeah. this, I mean, it's the highest level. Of, mm -hmm. It's like every person that does their job, and it's like for them to get to the highest level they can get. Yeah, they just like I made it, and and so for me, people might say you've made it because you've hit the top of yeah, the level that of, of your ability. But you know there is more. There is more to, to that. Yeah. Um, talking about highest level in football, mm. do you have any intention of playing for the England national team? I mean, well, I've, I've, uh, I went with England under 20 in World yeah. Cup and um, didn't get enough games, you know. I mean, England for me has been like a second home to me. Mm. The way, you know, it's a privilege the way they've welcomed my family and me and give us an opportunity to yeah. fulfill our dreams. So. That's one thing that always in my heart for, mm. for this country. But I, I have to remember also that back at home there is people that need me. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm very important that I'm, yeah. but you know, there is more than I can give back to my country. Mm. You know? Yeah. So that's I mean to that. Yeah, so you that means you have another intention for playing for um yeah. your country as well. Yeah. Um what do you Intent doing after retiring from football, charities and going to reach different countries, poor yeah. people, and just different people <laughs> that never met. Being a being a philanthropist, as you yeah. say, <laughs> DPS production. We are establishing um, a magazine which will be coming out very soon. 
and as I said from the beginning, you are an inspiration to us, the youth, mm -hmm. because you have achieved a lot, and most of the youth are looking up to you, most mm -hmm. especially, not even those playing football, but everyone mm -hmm. are looking up to you. What is your advice to the youth? I believe that everybody's got a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that God has given everyone a talent that they can work on it to earn a living yeah. for themselves mm -hmm. and help other people. And so, whatever that may be, football, music, basketball, I don't know, education, I don't know, whatever talent it is, I believe, you know, nobody can achieve anything without mm -hmm. hard work. Yeah. And, 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 and the way I can put it to small world is passion has a twin yeah. and this twin is pain and so when as young people we've got this passion like yes i want to become this that's passion yeah but then as you approach passion passion has to it tells you i've got somebody that's can come with me mm -hmm. and that's my twin yeah i cannot go anywhere without my twin and so when we we've, it introduces us pain we kind of give up because yeah. we're like no 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 i don't want to go for pain i'm okay i don't want to go for pain but it's so so many young guys and so many teenagers we we stop from reaching our destiny because we've been told that we have to go through pain yeah doesn't mean it's gonna kill us mm -hmm. but it's hard it's tough mm -hmm. and so so many of us we stop ourselves from reaching what we could accomplish just because of that yeah. pain but so my advice to other young guys is that take on yeah like welcome the pain like just embrace it and because once you get to the top once you you've achieved and you've got to that place where you always want to be you'll never forget that you have to go through pain yeah but if you don't want pain then you're never gonna achieve what you could have had thank you very much mr my pleasure. L, for your time my pleasure, man. well you've had it all he says in order to achieve something, you have to know passion has got a twin, mm. which is pain. Stay tuned, we've got more things to come, and DPS TV is here to stay. We've got more important people, more celebrities to interview. So stay relaxed and expect good things coming. Thank you. <laughs>